Hi, this is Erin from the Science Off Center team here at the St. Louis Science Center with an experiment you can do at home. We are going to make cabbage juice because it works as a pH indicator, which will make more sense in a bit. So, to make the cabbage juice, you're going to need about half a red cabbage, and you'll just need to cut it up into chunks, or to avoid sharp pointy objects, just rip it up. You're going to put it into a bowl that's fairly large, but can fit into a microwave. We're going to be cooking it. You can also do it over the stove with more water. Once the cabbage is all chunked up, and you can see it doesn't have to be super small pieces, just enough to, to expose it to the water, you're going to add water to it. And when you start out, the water will be pretty clear. We're going to microwave it until the water turns a nice dark purplish color, which will take about 10 minutes. Or, like I said, you can cook it over the stove, boiling it until it turns dark as well. So I'm going to take this to the microwave, and then I'll be back. So I'm back from the microwave. And as I stir the cabbage juice, I can see the, the water getting more and more purple. So it's ready to, to get into the pitcher. And you can use a colander or something, but I think it's easier just to pour in if a couple of cabbage juice pieces get in there. It's not a big deal. The exact color doesn't really matter. The longer you cook it, the darker it will be but what we have here will work for testing everything. That's pretty good. Now you can see that this cabbage still has a lot of color in it. So now if you want more cabbage juice, you can put a whole other thing of water in here and microwave it for another 10-15 minutes and you'll get some more cabbage juice out of it. Or, if you're doing it on the stove, you could start out with more water in a big pot. Anyway, now I have a bunch of cabbage juice, and we're going to do some experiments with it. Now I have these three cups, and I'm going to pour some cabbage juice into them. We have our beautiful purple there, and then some green, and some beautiful pink. Now, how did that happen? In these two cups, I had some other chemicals going on. If you add ammonia to the cabbage juice, it turns green because ammonia is a base. It has a large pH. If you add vinegar to it, it will cancel out the ammonia go back to purple, and then all the way to pink. So you can experiment with all sorts of things you have around your house, with your parents' permission, to find out if they are acidic, basic, or neutral like water. Don't change the color at all. One thing I recommend trying is baking soda. Mm, but I'll let you test that one and see what happens.